I've heard the term piss fit and it seems to be a term that the younger generation in particular are using to describe when you're tolerant on alcohol, when you drink quite a lot and you don't fall over and you don't necessarily look drunk. The trouble with the term is it implies it's a rather good thing. We all want to be fit. But of course, even though you may not get as drunk, you may not slur your speech, you may not fall over, the harm from alcohol is still happening. When a person's tolerant on alcohol, they're often not aware of the harms that are going on, both inside them and with their emotions and their mood. With tolerance, the body's fighting back against the, the sleepy effects of alcohol. When someone drinks, the alcohol makes them sleepy. If they drink every day, the body turns up their natural uppers, their natural stimulants to try and keep them awake. And that's a problem because then when they stop drinking, they're left feeling wired and anxious and unable to sleep. But if someone's a daily heavy drinker and they become dependent on alcohol and very tolerant, then they stop drinking and they have the tremor, they can't sleep at all, they feel very stressed, very anxious, and they have an intense craving for more alcohol. Up to half our drinking pattern is determined by our genes because they've done twin studies where they look at identical versus non-identical twins. And the non-identical twins have the same environment, but their genes aren't as similar. But when you look at identical twins, their drinking tends to be very similar, their pattern. So if you've got a strong family history of drinking problems, you want to be particularly careful about your own alcohol use. A lot of people think they're drinking one standard drink, but the sizes of drinks that you serve at home are often well over one drink. The glasses of wine most people pour at home are closer to two standard drinks. And most of the commonly consumed serves of beer, like schooners or cans, they're well over a standard drink. So worth checking what a standard drink is and measuring your drink sizes at home now and then so you know what you're actually drinking. Alcohol's in the top rank of carcinogens, cancer-causing agents, right up there in the same rank as asbestos. So if a person drinks even two or three drinks a day, their risk of cancers can start to go up. Your risk of breast cancer for a woman starts to go up only from one or two drinks a day. For a man, the risk of bowel cancer goes up from about three drinks a day. But if you stick to those limits of no more than 10 drinks a week, you've got much less chance of developing a harm from alcohol like cancer. If you're tolerant to alcohol and you do cut back, then you can get the same enjoyment from it without the harms. You feel the effect more at a lower amount of alcohol and you can still enjoy the taste. So it's worth it. Save money, better health, better sleep, better mood.